Now I got another letter. Do you remember the the uh, person that pitched the idea that maybe you could get a babyface wrestler over by stranding him on Mars? Oh my God! Yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> that was that. a that was a while yeah. back. Well, actually, I'd mis I'd referred to it a few times, but I I I mistook mistookenly referred to the guy that had the idea because, as I see now from this email, it was a young lady. Because Stephanie writes, "Dear Mr. Cornett, you may remember me. I'm the girl who pitched you the idea of having a wrestler stranded on Mars in order to get him or her over," and she's got another idea. She says, "I heard that on a recent episode of the Drive Through, you've said that while." Some people may have liked Joey Ryan's dick flips. Everyone's seen it by now and is bored of it. I had a booking suggestion on how to solve this problem, which could be done on the indies or on Impact every week, and really isn't that the same thing, ladies and gentlemen? That's my editorial comment. Uh, but it, it, done on the indies or on Impact every week and was curious to hear your thoughts. The storyline starts with Joey Ryan being patted down by the referee before a match. The referee grabs his crotch, reaches in his trunks, and shockingly pulls out a dildo. It's revealed that Joey never had a magical penis all along. He had a dildo in his pants the whole time that he was using as a foreign object slash guard. His opponent then uses this new knowledge and the lack of Joey's dildo to win the match. Throughout the next several shows... Joey continues losing due to opponents utilizing his new lack of dildo to gain an advantage. The constant losses send Joey into a depressive funk and he considers retirement. But over time, he grows to become more confident in his own penis and begins to win matches more often. The angle culminates in a match where he performs the dick plex with his own penis and wins. He realizes his penis power wasn't in any old dildo, but inside of him and his penis all along, and he ushers in a new era of his career. This angle would freshen up his penis act and give him an underdog story that would let people rally behind him. I'd love to hear your thoughts on whether this would work. Also, fuck Joey Janela. Sincerely, Stephanie. So even people who come up with ideas like this do not like jelly nutella <laughs> <laughs> stephanie i gotta i gotta be honest with you i wasn't really a big fan of the mars storyline with with stranding the guy on mars and the and of course the inheritant disadvantages that that would bring and i'm not really a fan of this idea of it being revealed that dick boy's power came from a magic dildo rather than his own little teeny weeny peeny however I think you have inadvertently, as some great artists sometimes do, struck a, a, a genius idea without even realizing it. Because, Brian, what? imagine this. Picture me. Just follow me on this for a second. Picture this. What if we combine these two angles? And Joey Ryan and his magic penis were the one that we stranded on Mars. Now we've got box office. We could, we could actually, this could be the biggest fundraiser in wrestling because we could ask people to send in whatever you can, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars. I know some would give a thousand to basically kickstart the space program to send Joey Ryan and his little teeny weeny peeny to fucking Mars and strand him there. And then we could let Stephanie, the architect of these, this brilliant angle, Figure out a way to get him back. What do you think? I, you know, if I could do some fantasy booking, I think everything continues the way it is. And it's kind of like on Dallas when all of a sudden Bobby Ewing wasn't dead. He was in the shower and it was all a dream. We all wake up. And <laughs> this was all just a fucking nightmare. <laughs> None of this stupidity, which in case you haven't realized, draws less and less. None of this stupidity uh, still was taking place. That's my dream. That may be the best angle yet. 